Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. The last time we left off, we finished the investigation regarding uh, who might have killed me die, and we were about to begin the class trial. And I have no idea what could have possibly happened. I mean, I really don't have any speculations. I mean, I keep jumping back and forth that maybe it was a suicide if we're following the first game, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be likely. And I, don't, I really don't know who could have been a, uh, a culprit here, so this is going to be a weird one. Now, before I continue on, I I do have a few of those hope shards left, and I know I, I said I, I don't know what to get for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and just get whatever. Screw it. And I'll get something worth four. Uh, this one, why the hell not? I don't know what, the hell, what these do, but you know, maybe they will be beneficial somewhat. I just... I don't want to say it again. Oh yeah, it's the first thing. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've actually um, even recorded, so... This is definitely going to be a fun one. Alright. I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and uh, begin the trial. Now, I, this translation may be a little odd for me because I was taking a little look ahead of time, uh, seeing a look at like you know, some of the um, like non-stop discussions. It doesn't really seem like they give me the answer to them. So like, or I can't even, I don't even know like what what translate what translates into what. So it may be a little bit more difficult for me here, but I'm sure I'll get past this somehow. Uh, I'll start with an explanation. The school trial uh, in this trial. You will uh, consult among each other to determine who is the culprit. And the answer is uh, decided by your votes. If you pick the right answer, then the culprit will be punished. But in that case, if you pick wrong, the rest of you will be punished. And the only and only the culprit will be allowed to uh, leave this island. You may be hungry, but work hard. Everyone who uh, manages to survive will be awarded with a fabulous meal. What? Surely now me is the ingredients. Uh, the fact that I'm here right now is because Nidai gave his life to save me. I'll avenge his death! I'll get that culprit! Got it? That curry is not going to distract me. Awari, oh, you're drooling quite, uh, quite a lot! Hey, should we start establishing a timeline? We couldn't leave the strawberry house, so we couldn't really investigate th uh, things over there ourselves. Oh yes, we discovered he died's body a little before seven. We went to the uh, Grape Tower for the Monokuma Tai Chi, and then we found him. Hinata, Hinata Nanami, you were with me as well. As well. Hinata, you lucky bastard! Then you were with Son uh, Sonia and Nanami from that early on in the morning? <laughs> well, not since the night before too, right? You impotent, you impotent thing! I'm not that kind of loose girl! Ah, uh, I hit a nerve! Well, I think we're moving along pretty quickly already. We just happened to meet on the first floor to, uh, of the Grape Tower, and all and all go to the. We all went to the tower together. So that's how the three of us came to discover the body together. And after the body discovery announcement happened, Owari, you heard it and came running too, right? We heard the announcement too well, in the Strawberry House, of course. Then we realized the elevator was broken, so we couldn't get over there. Uh, we couldn't even get over there. We decided to just go to the tower, so we went over to the Strawberry Gallery. But it turned out the button there was broken too, so we couldn't even do that. We thought we might as well try and establish uh, contact with your group, so we placed a call using the phone in the lounge. Let's stop all this boring talking, let's figure out who the culprit is. After all, it's gotta be one of you Strawberry House guys. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Do you think a girl would do something as evil? Then it's gotta be one of you guys. Hey! If you don't fess so quickly, I'll snap your backbones in half! You're the most violent one here! Let's just all calm down and think about this logically. We don't have the luxury to waste time with too many questions or useless arguments. Not for this case. Too many questions? I feel like questions are all I have. Then let's start with the most basic thing. The murder weapon, so that even Sonya can understand. What? Well, I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? What? Well, if you can glance at a murder, the weapon's right there! The weapon is right there. Soda might not be might not be totally wrong. Because there's only one thing that looked like an obvious weapon. I think y'all know what they're talking about here. So, uh, let's see what's gonna be showing up here. We got... Oh, crap. It's a... Wow, that was way too many you just gave me here, game. So that's a lot there. 
let's start by figuring out what the weapon is. Oh, that weapon was right there on the floor of the crime scene! You mean the column? Uh, no, not that, the hammer! The murderer used that hammer! Smash the die! Alright. All I know for a fact that one's the hammer, but that's because I looked ahead of time and I tried memorizing the characters. But the guy that doesn't tell me, like, this is the right one, and it like, doesn't tell me, like, what translates into what, so that's why I'm thinking it might be a little bit difficult here, so I'll see what I have to do here. No, I don't think that hammer was the weapon. You should! Why don't you? Well, there wasn't any blood on the hammer, right? On the guy's body, there was oil all over, uh, everywhere, just like the, uh, just like the blood, right? If you hit him with that hammer, then there should have been at least a little bit of blood left on there. But that hammer was clean. So you're saying that's why it wasn't a weapon? Well, that, that could have been because the murder wiped it off later. What for? Well, to hide the fact that hammer was a murder weapon. Then they might as well got rid of the hammer too. Why just wipe it off? Well said, babyface. Babyface? Are you talking to me? Oh boy. Well, just for record, I was just uh, testing you guys. I mean, I didn't actually think the hammer was the murder weapon. A waste of our time then. Then what could have, what could um, the murder weapon have been that killed me? Die? Well, yeah, that's the problem. There's something else there you could use as a murder weapon. Then how about we think about it the other way around? If the hammer couldn't be the murder weapon because there was no oil on it, then if it does have oil on it, then it must be the murder weapon, right? If it has oil on it, it must be the real weapon. But the only thing that was covered in oil was, well, we have the fallen column, the chain on the door, the hammer, and he dies body. So, I think it was that, well, out of those, out of all those, the columns when they had blood on it. Problem is, I don't know which one is the column according to this damn, g uh, oh, I think this is it? Okay, good. See, that time it kind of told me it. See, it's kind of weird, this guide, it looks like, oh, I get it. I guess Birdman Rampa kind of translated this kind of into Korean, I believe? And he put the answer in Korean. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm figuring. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. It'll take me a little while. The only thing that had oil on it was the fallen column. Then the column was the weapon. That's what they used to kill me. Die. True. It'll be impossible to withstand such a blow. But were you not at the top tier of muscle strength, it would be beyond your power to wield such an object of a weapon. Why? Don't worry. You try it out with me. Remember. Yep, we tried all our strength. We just wouldn't move. Look, she's like straining like no other. She won't budge. Oh, that's right. That column was seriously heavy. Still, there's one person who's strong enough to lift something up like that. Huh? Well, who? I mean, me Midai, dies robot virgin. With that kind of power, lifting that column would be a piece of cake. So that guy lifted up the column and what? Are you saying he hit himself with it? Then, your suggestion that Nidai committed suicide. Don't be stupid! Do you really think someone like him commit, will commit suicide? Uh, it seems like my theory is way out of the ball. Uh, is not gonna be right, because considering they're bringing this up so early on in the case. Or in trial, so that probably isn't the case they kill, kill themselves with the column. Then why is it mad that Nidai can lift the column? <laughs> I guess you're right. What the hell?! But... There's something that bothers me. The mention of suicide here. Yeah, remember, like, uh, he was telling us about how he found the case and that the the fourth case in the school venture killing was suicide. No, that can't be important. After all, there's no way that I would even kill himself. But if it wasn't a column either, then there's no other murder weapon. Excuse me, even if you weren't able to lift a weapon, there's a way you could use it as a weapon. What? Really? Really? I think. Well, that's right. See, my intuition was right. Alright, I'm handing this over to Sonia. Show us how the fallen column was the weapon. Very well then. Then without, without, with a shot of courage, here comes Sonia. Okay. This I have no idea what the hell this one's gonna be. Oh boy. I don't know. Okay, well, let's try this out. There's no need to have, to have lifted a column. If one could not lift it, 
then the, to wield it as a weapon would be but a dream. What if you knocked it over? Right against Nidai's head? Hey, if you're just knocking it over, even I could have done it. Well, if you think about the wave of that column, that would be quite a bit of force. Sonia, not bad. <laughs> this makes me my heart pound. Uh, so the murder toppled a column onto you die. Wait a minute. Oh crap! There's a lot to hear. Sad, please. But then the column should be on top of him. No, there's a problem with that theory. Okay, hold on a minute. Actually, shoot, I was, I, wait a minute. Nope, I was on it. Nope. It's this one. Okay, I don't even know what the hell that one is, but... Whatever. This is gonna take me, this is gonna take forever for me to properly translate. Um, <clears throat> nope, that's not right either. Hold on a minute, guys, I'm getting my damn translation guides up. Oh, here we go. If they topple the column onto Nidai, then there, there would be pieces of column on top of his body, right? Well, isn't that what I pressed? Maybe I pre maybe I sh oh, whatever. Maybe I chose the wrong thing. What? Pieces of the column? If you had knocked over the column on top of him, then of course pieces of rubble would be on top of the body. Well, yeah. I thought of that too, Sonia, but I don't think it's possible. Oh. Yes, I made a mistake. If they did knock it over, how did they kill me to have that column? What are you gonna shut up about that column? Just let it go already! How can I just let it go? It's obvious that he was killed by that column. Why is it obvious? It just feels right. It just feels right? That's total guesswork! But you can't just assume that guess is wrong, can you? Huh? There's another way to kill someone with that column. It's just that you don't know. Uh, you don't know about. You just, it's just that you don't even know about it. What? Truly? Then I ask you, what method is that? You guys really never change, do you? You never hope to discover things on your own and simply stand still and wait. It's a waste of your talent. The thing that you can stand up to the future foundation while acting like that, it makes me laugh! What did you say? Anyway, I don't want to die with the rest of you, so I'll help you out. Komaida, where, where are you up to now? Not too long ago, you were acting like a crazed fanboy. I've learned a few lessons. There's no cure for ignorance, you see? Huh? What do you mean? Cut the crap and just tell us! How else could somebody uh, kill someone with that column? You need more than just a column. You have to add something else to, the, to make it possible. Something else? I mean, the ultimate weapon, of course. The ultimate weapon? But don't you have to win the uh, final dead room to get that thing? Komaida, do you know what this ultimate weapon is? Me? Of course I know. I suppose the rest of you are watching closely as well. We're watching? Yes, some of you would have you would be would have been wise to notice. Because the ultimate weapon is indicating evil personified. None other than I, Tanaka Gundam. A fitting name for one like I, who brims over well deserved arro uh, arrogance, who slices through enemies even more powerful than a sword of transcendent immortality. So it is I who truly fits the title of the ultimate uh, we weapon. Oh no, the tamer of four gods destruction, Tanaka is far more impressive than any ultimate weapon. Is that so? Hey! Stop messing around, just tell us straight. What is this ultimate weapon? Well, to know that, you first have to figure out the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You still haven't figured that out? Pull yourself together already. Aren't you guys supposed to be the symbols of hope? Uh, except for Hinata, of course. Except for why, except for Hinata? When it's over, I'll tell you. Anyway, we'll just need to figure out what's so strange about this funhouse, right? Then I think that's what it is. It's the way to build. I think it's the way it's built. There's a strawberry tower which you can access from the strawberry house, and the grape tower which you can access from the grape house. But they're actually the same building, and the two houses are connected by a tower in the middle. That ultra, the ultra C design is a secret of the funhouse. There's no doubt about it. 
Man, after hearing that wonderful explanation by Sony, I feel way more at ease. Of course, put your faith in me. The two houses are connected by a tower in the middle. That's what I thought at first too, but I discovered the truth. And that's not entirely the case. Yay, now we gotta do this again, which I don't know what to do. Oh man, this is actually gonna be a couple of things here. Alright, I'll try finishing this off and then I'll end the episode. Oh crap, where the hell was I? Here we are. The strawberry tower and the grape tower are actually the same building. And that's the secret of fun. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. And that's the secret of the fun house, you mean. Well, I wonder if that's true. How can they be the same building? The colors of the walls are different, and the picture on the floor, too. And uh, the picture on the floor, too. There you go. We explained that ages ago. You've got a long way to go if you want to shoot down Sonya. Oh, what the hell was I going to say here? We thought that the two, two towers were the same building in the same spot. But if so, uh... There's something that can't be explained. Huh. Yeah, and I think that goes with the, the same spot, actually. And I think... Nope. Nope. No, I missed it. That, that was it. I think that is the right, uh... The right bullet here. Can't really tell. We'll try. We'll, we'll see if this is right. So she says that the th they're the same building, but I think I saw a seeker right there. I don't think they are. Okay, good. See, that time, because the, the guy showed the actual picture and the word I needed to use. I think maybe I think it was only the first page I was using, and then he didn't actually have the pictures, but it's fine. Um, where the hell, where'd I go all right? Okay, are those two towers really in the same spot? Why are you saying something like that right now? And in that kind of voice? Am I your na uh, natural natural enemy or something? Hinata, I can't excuse that kind of treason. But it is strange, right? When we enter the Grape Tower, Hinata's bodies are found the opposite door, the Strawberry Door. But when we, when we enter the Strawberry Tower later, it had been moved in front of the Grape Door. Well, that, uh, that must have been because the floor rotate 100 degrees or something, or there, there must have been some way. I mean, that still means it could be the same building, right? What are you saying? Do you really think the answer is so simple? Are you in your right mind? So, you're saying that's wrong, then? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have cut in. Well, if the floor didn't rotate, then it's even stranger. Let's think about the structure of that building again. Please change your mind! Oh, come on, Sony. I don't want to cross exa- Oh, jeez. Here we go. Then how about this? Someone- Wait... Okay, yeah. Someone moved the guy's body. Well, we were moving from the Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, but we were all going together. How- Who could have done that? Then it was Morokuma. While we were traveling, Morokuma must have hurriedly moved the body. It wasn't just the guy's body. Are you saying that, the, that they moved the broken column too? It's too heavy for him. If he, he could, it's not too heavy for him. He could have rolled it. It um, if it was too heavy, he could have rolled it. If you have no bread, eat a snack. It's a simple. It's a simple. It's the same principle. Okay. Well then. Yes. Nice principle there, Sonia. I don't think I really fully understand, but whatever. In any case, guys. Um, in the next episode, we will cross swords with Sonia and uh. Well, yeah. yeah. This whole structure thing is kind of getting to me. Because they're not saying it. Even the damn structure is getting to me now. I mean, I know it's, it shouldn't be that damn difficult to understand, but I think I'm getting confused here. What? No. I keep thinking like the, the damn towers are back to back, but. I don't know. Does that even. That, I don't think that even makes sense. Ah, whatever, my brain's not even functioning today, but then, then again, that's nothing new. Uh, so in any case, guys, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play uh, Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.